Glam home. Well, today, guys, I thought I'd take you along with me as I give my laundry room a little bit of a makeover. Now, you know that this is my living room, and just off my living room is my laundry room. Now, I'll just show you its current state. So, when we first moved into the house, the whole house was white. So my hubby came in and painted it in this beautiful color called Puppy by Dulux. And I really love this color, guys. I love how it goes with the white tiles. And then he placed up two shelves, which I absolutely love as well. Now, just off the laundry is my walk-in linen cupboard with my zillion pillows. And uh, just as we turn around, I'm trying to go slow so I don't make you dizzy, is my DIY barn door. Now, this was the first barn door that we ever did, guys, and I really love it. If you want to see how we made this uh, video, I'll leave it linked for you down below. Now, as much as I love the turquoise, I'm actually going to go in and get Hubby to paint it black in the middle. So I'm going to have the white on the outside and the door itself will be black. And on this wall, we don't really have anything going on on this wall, but I'm going to do a shiplap wall where it's going to come up to about here. Then we're going to get a piece of timber and stain it and pop it across there like that. And just like my DIY shiplap uh, wall behind my dining room table, I'm going to get some black hooks and hang them um, off that. So the plan is, is to do a little bit of a, like a farmhouse more theme. Um, I'll be taking obviously down the black sign, getting rid of the decor. Um, I've also, I've just been on Amazon in the last couple of days, guys, and there's so many cool things on Amazon, but I decided I have just ordered a really cute black and white scalloped, uh, curtain which I think will look really pretty once it arrives. And I've also ordered a, uh, a rug, this really adorable rug that's black and white also, and it says laundry, which I wanna pop there. So what I'm gonna do is first of all, clean out the entire laundry, get everything ready and prepped, and let's get started. So we're going to start first of all painting the barn door. So this is Dulux Weather Shield in gloss black. And my hubby's going in and just putting the first coat on. So while my hubby is giving it the first coat, these are the paints that we're going to be using. Now, on the stain, we're going to head off to Bunnings in a minute and pick up the shiplap, as well as the piece of timber that I'm going to stain that's going to go above the shiplap. Now, I'm going to be using Cabot's interior stain for that, and the colour we'll be using is Cocoa Black. Now, it's actually not black, guys, but it's actually a really nice stain, which you'll see in a minute. And then on the shiplap itself, we're going to use Dulux Weather Shield, and it's in the color Lexicon Quarter. And it's that really beautiful white 
that I have on the rest of my home. So guys, my hubby went in and gave two coats onto the barn door in the black and while it was drying, we headed off to Bunnings. So we went straight to the timber section guys. I go straight to these panels. Now these are shiplap panels that I've used throughout my home. These ones we actually got the smaller version this time and we only needed two because we're doing such a small area. Now I also picked up one piece of dressed pine and I loved the width of this guys. I really wanted that nice chunky feel. I also picked up three of these black hooks. Once we got the shiplap panels home, we then got some liquid nails and my hubby's just placing that on the back. He then went in and placed them on the wall. I was so excited by this stage guys, it was really starting to take shape. My hubby here went in with a few extra nails as well, just to make everything more secure. Now while my hubby worked on that, I took this beautiful piece of timber outside and now I'm going to stain it. Now a little tip here guys, your girl shell really was just too impatient this day. What I did is I started to stain it and it was coming out really clear and I was like, oh my goodness, have, I, have we got the wrong paint? Why is it not dark? And I walked into my hubby and he was like, Michelle, did you shake the paint? And did you shake the tin? <laughs> and he just shook his head at me and said, go back and shake that tin and start again. And I'm so glad I did because it came out beautiful. While I was doing that, my hubby was going in and he painted the white around the barn door again, as well as starting on the shiplap. We ended up giving it three coats here and I'm so happy with it. Now guys, I have this little white coat rack and what I did is I actually took it outside off camera and spray painted it black. And I was super excited to receive this day, this adorable little laundry mat that I purchased off Amazon. Now guys, I'll leave a link to this adorable mat down below. Now I 
didn't film me actually doing this section guys but what I did here is I took this black and white contact paper from Bunnings I cut out some individual squares of the pattern and I placed them randomly on each of my white tiles Now, from my local dollar store, I picked up these cute little dolly pegs, guys. I think they're so adorable, and I had a jar that I picked up from Spotlight a few months ago, and I decided to spray paint the lid black, but I filled the jar with the dolly pegs. Now, I also had some of these cute labels that I picked up from the reject shop, and there was one in there with the word pegs, so I added that to the front of the jar. I was so excited that my adorable little Valance curtain had arrived from Amazon. Now it shows a red and white one here guys but I got the black and white and my hubby put up the hardware for me so I could hang it and I just love it so much. So now it was time to decorate those shelves and I just shot my own home and found some things that I wanted to add to the shelves like these beautiful jugs that I picked up from Eureka Street Furniture a few months ago and I have these little green wreaths that are from Spotlight and I'm going to place the jugs inside the wreath. I also have these pretty white baskets, they actually come in a set of three from Bunnings. And I also had this beautiful farmhouse sign also from Eureka Street Furniture. And how cute is this Ray Dunn laundry basket from TK Maxx? Also from TK Maxx is this adorable black and white laundry room sign. Now from my local dollar store I had these black and white hanging baskets which would go perfect on my hooks. Now I also had this beautiful Our Happy Place sign already guys and I knew it would go perfect above the hooks. had this beautiful hanging sign you have the key to my heart I thought would hang perfectly in the middle hook I also had this beautiful wreath that I picked up from early settler last year that I spray painted white as well as these canisters to fill up my laundry room products Now to add some extra storage, I recently picked up these beautiful timber farmhouse tins. Now they're actually a stack of two and I really love them guys. They come from a store called Ashley Furniture. Here is my completed laundry room makeover. I'm so happy how this came. tell you how excited I was to see my vision come to life and of course I couldn't do it without my amazing hubby. He always brings my visions to life and he is always a champion when it comes to me asking him to help me complete this vision.
guys, I spend many an hour on Pinterest, searching for ideas and visions and trying to think of ways where I can change things over and of course inspire you at the same time. I hope my laundry room makeover has certainly done that. Now, as much as I absolutely love my glam decorating guys, I really love bringing new visions to life in certain rooms. And I certainly felt that my laundry room had to have a farmhouse feel. So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've inspired you when it comes to decorating your laundry room. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It truly helps this channel. Share the video as many times as you can. And I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of Shell's Glam Home family. So until next time, my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.